Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Have you ever felt this moment you're walking on a track and you want to add a pad sound to your track and you always ended up with having maybe a nice sounding pad but it's always sounding like 80s pad, like very vintage type of sound pad. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to make a modern sounding pad like this one. <laughs> I've used Ableton Stock Plugin and only Ableton Stock Plugin for this preset. Actually, this preset comes from my Wavetable Technobank number three. And if you're interested in it, I will put it in the description. You can have a listen and go grab it if you like it. It's a great way to support me. But today I'm going to recreate the preset from scratch and give it to you for free. As usual, link in the description. You can go grab it. Don't forget to like and subscribe before to grab it. So first thing we need is obviously Wavetable. And for Oscillator 1, we're going to choose Vintage, Sub-3 Shaves and set the position at 100%. So this way we have this kind of square waveform we're gonna slightly detune it this obviously is gonna help adding some detune between the other oscillator picking off we're gonna activate oscillator 2 and pick up the exact same oscillator Actually, this time we put the position at 43 percent and solo we get something like this and both with oscillator 1 here again we're gonna detune 7 semitone but we're gonna set it one octave upper so this way we get a way much richer signal and on top of that, we're gonna add the sub oscillator for this extra harmonic. So octave at zero because we don't want to subby. Obviously it's a pad, you want something that doesn't have too much low. And the tone at 100% because at zero, it's more like a sound wave, but at 100%, it's more like a sotus. So it's a richer waveform, so which is nice for pad to have. And all together, we got that. Now for the filter, we go with 3DV, Mook Pro DC style. We're not gonna add drive or resonance for now and we're gonna leave it fully open for now. Let's focus on the amplitude envelope. So we want something full blast on, so three milliseconds. We want the sustain up and then I did a bit more release. <laughs> this doesn't matter much because anyway, we're gonna add some delay and reverb so it's gonna make the sound last. And then we can, and then what we wanna do is we wanna modulate the filter with another envelope. So click on the frequencies. So this way now it's appearing in the matrix and we're gonna modulate it with envelope two around 20%. And now let's go to envelope two. We want a slow attack. So around 400 milliseconds and bring up the sustain and maybe add a bit more release and less the decay doesn't matter. And this way, if we bring down the filter, it will open it the filter slowly. <laughs> This you can adjust to your taste. It will be mapped to a macro anyway, so you can easily adjust it at the end. Now we want to add some slow movement and, and a great way to do that is to apply LFO and we're gonna go here to our oscillator and select classic and click on the pulse width and modulate at the maximum with LFO1 and does exactly the same with oscillator 2. Uh, click on the macro and bring 100%. So I know it doesn't sound gently 100%, but we will sort it out this in the LFO section. So we don't want re-trigger, we want uh, LFO to be always running and free running. We don't want it sync to the BPM, so that's perfect as it is now. And we want triangle waveform. The rate, we want something pretty slow, so let's go around 0 0.48 Hertz. And I say a very slight amount, something around 3%. <laughs> You can see here it's slightly moving the tone this has to be very gentle finally we're gonna add some unison it's gonna help detune everything and create even richer and wider signals so we're gonna choose the shimmer mode pretty nice two voice and amount 20 percent you don't want to overdo it because that's one of the things that can as well make you sound sound like a, a vintage sound because it was very much used this kind of unison in the 80s so just enough to have this nice white and rich sound and we're gonna reduce the volume because it's already blasting so maybe around minus 40. So this way we can add effects later on. Which picking off, we're gonna add a bit of saturator just to add a bit of harmonic. So just leave in analog clip and we're gonna 3db out drive and I'm gonna minus this 3db on the output. This is very gentle. Now I like the sound, but I feel it uh, very noisy and messy, especially in the high end. And I'm gonna correct that with a channel EQ. But before that, I'm gonna apply a low cut and reduce the low around 4 dB because it's not a drone sound, it's a pad, so you don't need that much of low energy. And I'm gonna boost the mid around 3 kilohertz. So let's say around 3 dB. 
So this would add a bit of brightness, but now we want to get rid as well of this very high noisy frequency. So I'm going to bring down the high with this channel EQ, what is happening. And you can see you have a high cut as well as a high shelf together walking down. So that's great. And so we're going to reduce as well around 4 dB. So if I boost actually. So you might think you lose a bit in clarity, which is arguable, but mainly I feel like the sound is less messy, less noisy in the high and a bit more focused by doing that, which will be of a great help, especially later on if you put this pad into a full track, it will avoid to have all of that mess at your high end, which can make your mix sound not clear. Now we're going to add some delay just to make things move a little bit. I'm going to add filter delay. I like this delay. This is my default preset. Now we need a bit of reverb, obviously a pad without reverb, it's impossible. I'm going to use hybrid reverb and put in algorithm mode and I want to select the Shimer one and I want the decay around two seconds. Reduce the size. I don't want damping. Damping is removing all the higher end frequency. I'm going to do this with the EQ. So I want a 0%. I'm going to set the pitch at zero because I don't really want this pitchy shimmer effect. I still want the shimmer effect. So I'm going to bring it 100%. Diffusion 100%, I don't want to mod. And maybe bring down the dry weight around 30%. Put the bass in mono, add the stereo at 100%. Add the stereo at 120%, so this way is widen a little bit your reverb signal. And we're gonna work on the EQ. You can leave the low cut and bring down this. So that's where, again, it's like to clear a little bit of all of this messy high end. Now here's where all of the kind of magic, modern magic happen. So we're gonna use drum bus. And first we're gonna put in mid drum and add a bit of a drive for extra harmonics. Around 20%, let's say. And we're gonna compress everything. And here's where the magic happened. We're gonna add a bit of crunch, which works perfectly for this type of sound. So don't be scared to be shy. We're gonna crank it up a lot. So I'm gonna reduce the transient. Just to tame a little bit the tail of the reverb. And yeah, we have pretty much done so if you feel it's too noisy one thing you can do as well is apply another high pass filter here and just like kind of reduce around 15 hertz, 15 kilohertz. and yeah that's how you get a modern sounding pie i hope you like this video guys don't forget to uh, like and subscribe before to grab the presets thank you very much for watching and see you soon guys bye bye